Hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back in you know, old man Weber 22 inch. I tell you what, folks, we just finished up doing a mod to this. Raised it up so that the grill grates are right around 36 inches high, folks. This is an easy to do mod and I've done it before, but this time I've uh, incorporated some shortcuts that a couple of my followers uh, su suggested. So I'll tell you what, even makes it simpler to do. This is literally less than eight bucks to do. So, and it took me about an hour and a half. So why don't, why don't you, uh, Watch, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, Tom Horseman at YouTube. And you know what? Take a look at how we did this. All right, folks, there's our normal Weber kettle. And you can see our height is only about 29 and a half. So I want to extend this by six inches and get it closer to that uh, 36 inch mark, which is pretty common for like a kitchen cabinet, which would make it easier for everybody to work on. All right, got the Weber flipped upside down. It's a good time to clean your Weber out. I took advantage of that a little bit today, too. See, I've got some rust. Look at that. This thing's only about three years old. That piece right there is notorious for rusting out. Hey, um, so what you're going to need, and here's the supplies. You're going to see a picture of it. I'm going to leave in the video here. But three-quarter inch EMT. Uh, the three-quarter inch refers to the inside diameter, electrical conduit. Uh, there's the, the, For the two uh, wheel legs, and that's the one you're looking at right here, uh, those require 19 inch. Now you're going to probably have to play around with this because as you can see, if you look at the back one here, uh, that angle that's back there, you, you know, you've got to get it all the way to that angle. So you got to might have to play with that a little bit in order to get it right. And then the front leg, you would cut at uh, 25 inches. And remember, this conduit fits real snugly inside this uh, leg, in, in all three of these legs. And uh, it blew my mind the first time I did it, but it'll go all the way down to the bottom. So uh, we're going to take this apart now. And we're going to leave the wheels on, and that's a little bit different than the first time I did this. I had a couple other guys, uh, I, I can't remember who it was on YouTube, that said, hey, you know what? You can do this by leaving the, leaving the wheels on. That way you don't have to replace these uh, fasteners, which is a good idea. So um, we'll take these apart, and we'll get going. All right, so to get the legs off, all you gotta do is press, see that, that little button there? Just press that and then just work it up like that. Just like that. And you do all three of them that way and then pop the whole assembly out. All right, so I'm gonna be using screws to these holes in order to make things nice and steady again on, on the Weber kettle. So I'm gonna take out that thing about thing that's in there, that little spring with the knob on it. And sometimes you just gotta keep on pressing on it and get your finger in there and once you get an edge then you can just kind of pop it out so i'm gonna do that to all three of them all right folks we're gonna make our uh our 19 inch cuts remember two of those and then the, the one at 25. uh you can use a hacksaw if you want to or you can just use i, I just got a skill saw there right. and metal blade in there Super simple, folks. If you're not comfortable using power tools, then don't. All right, once you get them cut, it's just a matter of putting them in there. You got to take maybe a rubber mallet just to get it good and seated on the bottom there. But you can see, if we measure from our conduit, you can see we are uh, right around that six inch marks, which is good. So you should make sure the reveal um, from the top to that on those two back ones with the wheel on are exactly the same. Finish that up. Okay, so where that little hook for the bottom shelf goes in, that's a quarter inch. So you got to drill a quarter inch hole through the conduit right there. All right, putting her back together is just like taking it apart. You put the back ones in first, and then put this one, the front one in, and then just got to manhandle it a little bit. And when she's seated, she's seated. And um, take another look-see at it. All right, there it is put together. And you can see it ain't coming out. Let me flip it up. And six inches higher, that's really nice. Let's let's get the tape measure and measure because I'm not really sure. All right, there it is. It's just a little shy of 36 inches, but it's a heck of a lot better than what it was. Now, we can be content with it at this point. And like I said, I showed you, it ain't gonna, it's not going to come out. And it, it rolls, rolls just fine, but there's still a little weeble wobble in there as, as it was before. But I want to strengthen that up a little bit. And we got an opportunity to put some screws uh, into that conduit to strengthen it up. So let's flip it back over and we'll put some screws in. 
All right, so there's the hole where that little thing popped out of there. And we're just gonna take a sheet metal screw, a little stainless steel sheet metal screw with a little bigger head on it. And we're gonna pre-drill into that conduit and put that in there and it'll lock up tight. And then we're gonna put another one up higher. And that'll attach our outside leg to the conduit. I'll probably put that on the inside so it can't be seen. I'll put three of those two on, on each one, uh, one on each one, a total of three. So a total of six. So let's get those in. All right, so you can see the screws I put in. Uh, you can see one there, stainless steel sheet metal screw. It's a number 10 and another, another number 10 sheet metal screw did it in all three legs, a total of uh, six screws. Uh, had it down on the ground already. Yeah, I was ready to put in another one higher up, but uh, it is, uh, the Weeble Wobble is a less, less, very much less, and a whole lot better than the original kettle. If there was any any criticism anybody, anybody would ever give to Weber on these kettles is, is the thin wall material that they use in these legs and the Weeble Wobble and the useless bottom shelf because it is pretty much useless. So um, get this back together and you know what? You don't need to see anymore. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, Tom Horseman at YouTube, leave a comment, thumbs up. And as always, folks, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.